David and Goliath is such an amazing story, and and I had done uh, early versions of that story in the in the, like 1969, and then I did a painting in 1979, and based on that painting of 1979, I decided to do this serigraph, and that was 2005. This serigraph. It's quite different from the painting. I added many more figures and I embellished and, and gave uh, all the foliage and all the, the grasses and the flowers. I, I made it so that uh, when you look at it, it, you could get lost in all the insects. And it, it, but that the, here, this is all going on, this battle between these two camps. And what I like is that the child, that it's another paradox that God is choosing the child this young boy to defeat this giant, and uh, in and and it goes with the idea God chooses the the weakest to confound the mighty, and I like that because it's like a symbol of how we have to look that we think oh we can't do anything the forces are overwhelming us, but I like this story because it says no you aren't overwhelmed that there are, you'll see many examples of individuals that have done great things and helped people Gandhi Martin Luther King and um, Cesar Chavez are the few, but there are many, many more at once you start looking and you hear about them. David and Goliath, as it developed from an earlier work, uh, it, the form is close, closely matched to the painting, but actually it's embellished in more brilliant colors than the, than my, the painting that I did in 1979. But um, when you look at all the flora and fauna, and then there's also little insects and animals that are in, in each of the, um, in, in all these brushes. But they're layered, and, and, and with the, the ink that I've, we've been mixing up, seems to leave like a, almost like a, a dimension. There's a, there's a dimension. You could almost feel the, the layering of each printing. And uh, here, here are the camp, David's the camp of the soldiers. And you can see I've got all kinds of elements. The soldiers, the musicians, or the martial bands, and their tents. And then uh, here is a shepherd, here's a shepherd very tranquil. In spite of all this commotion, there's a shepherd taking care of his sheep. And also you see the town and then the people taking care of the fields and the grains and the little villages all over and the orchards. Then the main scene is David, the little boy with his slingshot and Goliath, and you can see the rock and then blood flying all over. And then all this patterning. Uh, so I wanted also to have a, a, something that you could always look at and keep seeing more elements that are of interest.